A number of Detroit City government insiders are shocked by the raids carried out at the homes of Scott Benson and Janae Ayers. It's like, here we go again. People are just shaking their heads saying, what's going on? Detroit has seen its fair share of corruption cases and now two more members of city council. 51-year-old Scott Benson, who represents District 3, and 39-year-old Janae Ayers, an at-large member of Detroit City Council, connected to a public corruption investigation. Today, both of their homes the targets of raids by the FBI. This morning, as you all very well know, uh, FBI agents along with task force officers from the FBI Detroit field office executed search warrants at multiple locations here in uh, southeast Michigan and along in City Hall. Question now is what if any evidence of alleged corruption did federal investigators already have before searching their homes and presumably their offices at City Hall? Political consultant Mario Morrow. Everybody's innocent until proven guilty so we do have a long road to go but it is uh, very disappointing to have two more two additional city council members two elected officials who in most cases, and people think, have done an outstanding job in their offices to be raided by the FBI. In a statement today, Councilmember Raquel Castaneda Lopez said she was horrified and heartbroken to learn about today's raids. And she said she'll be introducing a new section to council rules that she says would address training on the city's ordinance to promote an ethical environment within city government and ensure ethical behavior. If you're not gonna walk that straight line, don't even consider going into public service. Don't even consider running for office because if you, if, you, if you do something wrong, it's going to catch up with you. And we did reach out to Mayor Duggan's office for a comment and a spokesperson says they are not saying anything and have no information on what's in those search warrants. On Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.